All right, guys, what's going on? It's Jack, and welcome back to another video. And today, I am going to be talking about the uh, recent news that's been kind of leaked or revealed or rumored or however you want to call it recently about the next Treyarch game, which is going to be coming out in 2024, and how it's actually going to be uh, possibly a two-year game, just like Modern Warfare 2 is. And those years that the game, if it is going to be a two-year game, it's going to, those games are going to be taking place in 2024 and 2025. And there is a very special Call of Duty game that took place in the year 2025, and that is Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now, in my mind, I want to say that it would be nice if a Black Ops 2 got remastered. And after doing a first take on this commentary and stopping, and also thinking about it additionally... Well, here's the thing. Black Ops 1 is a legendary game in and of its own right. And that game has yet to be remastered. Yes, there's been, game, uh, there's been maps and weapons and stuff like that that have been brought back to, to, to honor that sort of thing. Absolutely. However, with that being said, Black Ops 1 did not have a full remake. So therefore, it wouldn't really make sense to remake Black Ops 2. And if we're looking at what we've been told so far and what's going to happen with Modern Warfare 2 in year 2 and how they're going to release the old Modern Warfare 2 maps in Modern Warfare 2022 for year 2 it is more likely that they're going to do something similar with that with what Treyarch does now don't get me wrong would I love to see a Black Ops 2 remastered absolutely would I love to see a Black Ops 1 remastered absolutely but it's very unlikely that those things would happen. You know, you're not going to release a remastered sequel before you release a remastered prequel, right? So, unless you release them together, but that, that's that's too much work. That's too much work. I don't think they would be able to pull that off in time. However, they would be able to pull off bringing things back like maps that we haven't seen before, right? From Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1 that haven't been brought back, as well as weapons from Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1 that haven't been brought back, as well as score streaks that we haven't seen since Black Ops 2 that just happened to have some of the best score streaks or kill streaks, or whatever the hell you want to call them, however you prefer to call them, in Call of Duty history. I mean, come on. K9 Unit, Swarm, Lodestar, the Lightning Strike was even good, even though it was like mid tier, it was good. The, atta the attack helicopter, the truck, I mean, so many cool things. They could buff the dragon fire, you know, which is something they never did in the game, and they can buff it and stuff like that. So, um, so, so yeah, man. I mean, and then even in Black Ops One, they can bring back some of the old score streaks from there as well. Um, and let's let's call the VSAT a Blackbird. I know, I know that it's we've always been calling it Blackbird, but Blackbird, but it's it was always called the SR seventy one and all that kind of stuff. It's like let's let's just call it. Let's officially call it a Blackbird, like Black, like Blackbird coming in, you know, or uh, uh, Blackbird ready for deployment or something like that. I would really love to hear the announcer say that, you know, because Blackbird is just too damn good. It's too damn legendary. You know, it's just, it just, it sounds good. It's, it's amazing. So I think that they are likely going to take that route simply because of time and simply because it just makes sense. And as you guys know, what one Call of Duty does, the other Call of Duty kind of does a version of that. And you guys know that there's probably going to still be a battle pass. It's like if the Microsoft deal goes through, which I still think it is, uh, despite the fact that UK kind of threatened to kind of block it. Um, Brazil, Brazil said yes. UK looks like it's going to say no. Uh, PlayStation is doing everything in their power to stop it from happening and stuff like that. But um, I still think it's got a better chance of going through than not. But that's not going to stop the microtransactions. That's not going to stop the battle pass, you know, that kind of stuff. So... They can bring back old weapons, you know, obviously the maps, they can bring back maps like that. And it'd be so much easier. All you got to do is update the graphics and stuff like that. Um, probably make the maps a little bit larger because in the next Call of Duty Black Ops game or whichever, or if it's called a Black Ops game, which is likely going to be because of branding and everything that Treyarch is making, um, it's likely going to be um, infinite sprint. So, the, so to compensate for that, to, to not make things too chaotic and more balanced, they're going to they're going to have to enlarge the maps a little bit, and that's perfectly fine. You know, it's still going to be the same old good maps and stuff. So um, there is definitely a golden opportunity to be had here, despite the fact that we may not get or probably will not get a Black Ops 1 or a Black Ops 2 remastered. And it kind of eliminates for there to be a remastered when you have something like this going on. 
So, uh, because at the same time, a lot of the people, as much as we love Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, um, you know, we're not going to play it for too long because we've already played it for so long, even beyond its life cycle. So it's going to be easier to get bored. So uh, it's not going to last as long, I don't think, as, let's say, a year or two with the old maps and, and putting in a dose of that while keeping what the original game is uh, intact in terms of what they're going to release in 2024. So when you look at it in every single way, uh, a Black Ops 2 remastered in 2025 would be nice. I mean, it's cool and all, but it just when you look at it from all angles, it just doesn't make as much sense. And plus there's time restrictions and stuff like that. So um, it, it's going to be interesting. And even with everything, everything being said and with everything that's been going on over the last few years, um, I still have faith in Treyarch. You know, Black Ops Cold War was not a Treyarch game. Treyarch basically took over after about a year or so of development or some shit like that. So um, it was originally a Sledgehammer game. Okay, so Treyarch took over the reins for a Sledgehammer game and kind of put their own mix into it and all that kind of stuff, yada, yada, yada. Um, so it wasn't a Treyarch game from start to finish. So we can't fully blame Treyarch for what Black Ops Cold War ended up being. So um, the, I think the time where we can truly blame Treyarch is if they screw up in 2024 with whatever game that they're working on is now. So, um, but, I, but I have faith because I didn't play World at War but I hear nothing but good things for the most part. Um, Black Ops 1, amazing. Black Ops 2, amazing. Black Ops 3, amazing. And they definitely felt like and played like Treyarch games. They were all arcade shooters. Even Black Ops Cold War, that definitely, um, that definitely was lacking, was the arcadiest of the three games, in my humble opinion. And felt like Call of Duty. It was, just, it was just bland. That was the biggest thing I could say about Cold War. It was, it was bland. So, but it was arcadey. So, at, at least that's my opinion. Um, there's a lot of things that I don't like about that game. There's no doubt about it. Um, but, uh, but, it, but it certainly didn't fully feel like a Treyarch game, that's for sure. Not completely. Um, and that's because Treyarch simply didn't make it <laughs> uh, from start to finish. So, with this next new game that they're making, it's going to be from start to finish, and I still have faith in Treyarch, and I wonder if Vaughn is still going to be around. I wonder, I wonder what's going to happen. Um, I wonder what the zombies is going to be like for the zombies community. Hopefully the campaign will be good. I mean, usually Call of Duty campaigns are good. Um, you know, there's some lackluster ones, but for the most part, Call of Duty campaigns always hit their mark. Some of them better than others, but for the most part, they hit their mark. So, and uh, obviously they're going to do their own version of Battle Royale or whatever map it is that they're going to come out with. Uh, perfect time for Blackout 2.0 to make a return, in my opinion. So uh, we'll see. And especially if it gets Vaughn back in there. So Because Vaughn was very passionate about Blackout. So uh, if Blackout 2.0 is what it takes to get him back to, uh, to Call of Duty to kind of uh, help keep the sanity, so to speak, and to, and to keep Treyarch in tracks in terms of the entire project, then so be it. Um, but we'll see. Um, but, uh, but in my opinion, as much as a Black Ops 2 remaster would be great, it just overall as discussed wouldn't make as much sense but they will have a way to celebrate those games black ops 1 and black ops 2 especially black ops 2 since it's going to be 2025 will be celebrated and i think it's going to be in the form of weapons score streaks and maps and who knows maybe even more but that's my speculation and i want to know down in the comment section what you guys think i uh, hope you enjoyed this video and let everything be known down below and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and i'll catch you guys on the next one